Welcome to the RICS UK Awards 2022. The refurbishment revitalization project category honors an outstanding restoration, part restoration of a building that was no longer fit for purpose, with the aim of making it more energy efficient and sustainable. Let's take a look at our shortlist. We'd like to thank our headline sponsor, Seeker, our category sponsor, WBEF, and wish all the entrants good luck. Don't forget to share your success using the hashtag RICS Awards. We are delighted to announce that the first regional winner in this category is Burrell House in the Southeast, nominated by Ridge and Partners, LLP. Burrell House was a semi-derelict Victorian building at risk of demolition but the refurbishment option was energetically explored and successfully executed. The project has delivered a fully functional and efficient hospice for the community, despite the constraints of the building. Up next, the winner for the East Midlands is Buxton Crescent Hotel and Thermal Spa, nominated by the Trevor Osborne Property Group. New life has been injected into this historic building and preserved it for future generations to enjoy a wonderful restoration of a historically important and significant property. In the east of England, the winner is Clare St. Regis Student Accommodation, nominated by Henry Riley LLP. This project has transformed a poorly performing energy inefficient 1930s student accommodation that lacked the requirements and demands of current student life by completely renovating the site and delivering cutting edge facilities that were efficient, safe and fit for purpose. And the winning project for the West Midlands is Houghton School, nominated by VHH Architects and Urban and Civic PLC. The judges thought this project was an innovative scheme, demonstrating collaboration between private and public sectors with a focus on sustainability, which will benefit the school population and, to a degree, the wider community. Remember, more details on each project can be found on rics.org forward slash UK awards. For the North West, the winner is the India Buildings, nominated by Falconer Chester Hall. This project presented a number of challenges for the teams involved in delivering a modern workspace within a historic building. However, the collaboration and commitment to persevere has brought the building back to the 21st century with happy end users while engaging with apprentices and other local groups throughout. Our next winner is the Mouth of our Regeneration in Wales, nominated by Austin Smith Lord. The project is about much more than a shopping centre. It delivers much needed change to the local communities and businesses who continue to live and trade there. The next winner is Merchant Square in Northern Ireland, nominated by Felix O'Hare & Co Limited. This was a fabulous achievement to create a substantial Grade A office complex over retail units, remaining open for business throughout on a busy city centre thoroughfare, also attaining a Bream Excellence rating on a refurbishment scheme. For London, the winner is Meridian Water, nominated by London Borough of Enfield. This project was chosen because it is an essential component of the Meridian Water mixed-use redevelopment which aims to revitalise a poor and rundown area of Enfield. Generating power from waste, the new building is carbon positive and is an exemplary example of how old and seemingly redundant building structures can be reused. RICS will be sharing your successes across the UK with our media outlets following these announcements. Don't forget to share your success using the hashtag RICS Awards. In the North East, the winner is Neville Hall. Nominated by Howarth Litchfield Partnership, Neville Hall is a fantastic example of restoring rather than replacing to celebrate the history of the building. It's clear that the team have prioritised a sympathetic restoration to bring the building back into use for the enjoyment of future generations. The penultimate winning project is the Bodmin Gel Hotel and Visitor Attraction for the Southwest, 
nominated by 12 architects and master planners. This was a truly transformative project that has successfully repurposed a derelict and dramatic historic structure, combining retention of its original form with bold but sensitive remodeling and introduction of luxury hotel fittings. Our final winner in this category is the University of Hull for Yorkshire and Humber, nominated by Ryder Levitt Bucknell. Sustainability was at the heart of this project and was evident from the brief through to occupation. The team adapted well to the introduction of Scar Gold and it was the first higher education building in the region to achieve the sustainability rating. Standout initiatives included a passive lighting design, designing out waste workshops and energy efficient electrical goods. Congratulations to all our refurbishment revitalization project regional winners and the teams and surveying professionals working tirelessly to deliver these first class schemes. From small projects to large scale developments, all of these have positively impacted communities and the build environment across the UK. Well done to everyone. We would once again like to thank our headline sponsor Seeker, our category sponsor WBEF and you for watching. Keep a lookout for further videos throughout the day on our YouTube channel and website. All our winners will go on to compete at the National Grand Final in London on the 21st of October. Further details on the Grand Final can be found on our website.